Namo Amida Butsu, which for anyone who is new to this channel or this topic, that means I take refuge in, I entrust myself to Amida Buddha, the Buddha of limitless light. If you're new to this topic, I suggest you take a look at one of my introductory videos on this channel. So a question was posted, what about doubt? I can't shake my doubts. So I'm going to address that as two questions. And first of all, the first question, what about doubt? So I'm going to read a little bit from Paul Roberts' book, Shin Buddhism 101. This is page 167. So all the talking we do in the Sangha, both publicly and privately, is focused around helping people to define and deconstruct whatever obstacles they have to Shinjin, Shinjin being the, the entrusting mind, the faith mind, the heart, faith, trusting mind. Master Renyo calls that clearing the channels of faith so that the waters of Amida's Dharma can flow. So... Renyo is very adamant that that's the whole purpose. That's really the only purpose for the Shin Sangha. Really, really two, two purposes. First, to clear away doubts, maybe three, to convey the message, to clear away doubts. And after doubts have been cleared away um, and Shinjin has occurred, to then gather to express gratitude. That's it. There's no other reason for a Jodo Shinsu or a Shin Sangha to gather, according to Renyo, who I believe was very accurately conveying the spirit of what Shinran Shonen taught. In fact, <laughs> uh, Renyo himself said, uh, this is in uh, one of his letters, 8.1.8, uh, that um, he said, Priests and lay people, men and women, have flocked here, but as this appears to have no purpose at all, I have prohibited their coming and going as of this year. For to my mind, the fundamental reason for being in this place, and this place being uh, a temple that had been built, a uh, Jodo Shinsu temple that had been built. For to my mind, the fundamental reason for being in this place is that having received life in this human realm and having already met with the Buddha Dharma, which is difficult to meet, it is indeed shameful if one falls in vain into hell, meaning that if we don't take on Shinjin, you know, we've got this rare opportunity of a human birth. Then we've encountered the Buddha Dharma. Then we very specifically encountered the Jodo Shinsu Dharma. And so then if Shinjin doesn't happen, it is, it's like beyond a missed opportunity. I don't even have words for what a missed opportunity that is. And According to the teachings of Buddha and the Buddha and Shinrin, most many people, I can't say most, many people enter the hell realm um, after leaving the human realm. So Renyo continues, thus I've reached a judgment that people who are unconcerned about the decisive settling of Nambutsu faith and attainment of birth in the pure land of utmost bliss should not gather at this place. So all that means is. The only reason to gather together is to hear the message, to, um, to deconstruct, as Paul Roberts says, to bring to awareness and deconstruct doubts, and then to gather together and express gratitude both to Shinran and to the Buddha of Limitless Light. So that's what this process is all about. Hearing the message, really what it's all about is just hearing the message and deconstructing doubts or addressing doubts. So I'm gonna read a little more from Paul Roberts. So the question is, is you know, we've, if you're here at this channel, you've heard the message. You've heard the message of Shinren, of the um, of the Pure Land Sutras. The question is why, if you haven't experienced Shinjin, the question is why. Well, it it always is going to boil down to some kind of doubt, 
And here's what Paul Roberts says about that. On some level, they doubt Amida's primal vow because they doubt, they feel, sometimes below the, below the level of their own awareness, that they can't depend on Amida's inconceivable work and gift of his infinite merit. They feel they have to add their own two cents, so to speak, helping Amida out by somehow, by whatever they do as a spiritual good act or practice. So it all boils down to doubting uh, Amida and doubting this message. And then the whole purpose of the Sangha is, is to express those doubts and to have those doubts resolved. So to the person who wrote this, what I would advise you is to get clear on what those doubts are and or find someone that you trust who can respond to those doubts and respond not with good human advice, not with, um, oh, go um, take this supplement or try this yoga posture or, um, but who can respond with the Buddha Dharma? Um, once we've attained Shinjin, then we can figure out what supplements to, <laughs> then that kind of advice. But what's most important is to, um, is to settle our birth. See if there's anything else I'd like to read. Mm -hmm. Renyo says that I can't find the exact quote, but he said that you know it's shameful that that people go about pretending that they believe without expressing their doubts. So the whole purpose of this path is to express our doubts so that Shinjin can fully, fully, um, fully come in. So uh, to the person who wrote that or anyone, feel free to express your doubts. If I'm not able to address them, I'll try and point you in the direction of someone can. And uh, look for the second video, which will be addressing the topic, I can't shake doubt. Thank you so much for dropping by. Namo Amida Putsu.